Hello, my name's Raven, and if you're here, you found your new favorite Pilates classes. I've been a fitness instructor for over 10 years, and I'm so glad you're here to work out with me today. You might have seen one of my posts detailing how to recreate Meg Thee Stallion's Pilates workout at home. And today, I'm here to give you the full version. Today's workout is gonna be a high energy Pilates fusion cardio class. You don't need any equipment, just some water, maybe a little towel, and your favorite hot girl playlist because we're gonna get started, so here we go. You guys start with your hands on your hips your knees a little bit best posture ever we start with marches lifting your knees so this is really a standing abdominals exercise but it's also a balance challenge so try not to go side to side like this <laughs> put your foot straight down underneath your hip we're pushing the floor away we're zipping your abs in and up advancement push your arms forward <sighs> So like I said, we're gonna get a little sweaty to start our warm up. So we wanna build some energy for our OG hot girl, <laughs> or girls, or squirrels. Now keep going, push your arms out. Keep drawing the knee up. Your glute should start to fire, your core, definitely your arms. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one step your feet a little bit wider than your hips arms are out then they sweep forward squats up hips back knees over toes zip the belly at the top and the bottom i love that so many celebrities are getting their pilates on and being really proud of it on social media showing us their workouts but for us normal folk Sometimes getting to the studio <laughs> is a challenge. So that's why I wanted to bring you these workouts today to show you how you can do the same thing at home. Last two. Hold it down on one, half up, half down, half up. Here, really zip your abs, stretch your arms towards me. Pull your shoulders out of your ears. Let's go eight, seven, whoo, six. Knit this rib cage in. Push through your heels. Three, two, one. Open up the arms, open up the legs and feet. We plie now. So my knees are still tracking over my toes, but now we're working a little more inner thighs and hips. Ooh, baby. Push the floor away. Squeeze the seat. Keep zipping the abs. We got eight more here. Eight, should feel like a starfish. Seven. If this is your first Pilates workout, you'll note inner thighs are a huge game changer. For four, we work on them a lot in Pilates. Three, two, hold it down on one. Here we go, half up, half down, half up, half down. My legs are staying wide. My thighs are wrapping back. Eight, seven, whoo, six. Almost finished our warm up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your legs wide, but turn your feet forward now. See how wide they are. I want you to lunge, left arm, right foot. So now we're getting a big twist. Can you open up to the right? And this nice lateral lunge. Lots of unilateral work in Pilates. That's what really builds those legs up, baby. For three, lots of core. Two, and other side. Here we go. Eight. You might be getting an inner thigh stretch here too. Six. Send your hips straight back, knee over toe. Give me four, three, and two. We're gonna stay low, take out the twist, side to side, down. We're skiing, we're pushing, knees over toes. If you were on the reformer, or you've taken a reformer class before, this should feel pretty familiar. Let's go eight, 
Heart rate's getting up there. Six, four, three, two. Hold it to the right, hold it there. Hands go down towards the right foot, stretch the right hamstring. Big exhale, walk it to the other side. Big exhale, walk it to the center. Roll up four, three, two. Let's take it to the mat. Okay, we're staying on the mat for the rest of this workout. Lucky for you, come on to all fours. Hands are right underneath shoulders, knees are right underneath hips. You've got a really long spine, active arms. Shoot your right leg back, bring it down. Same thing, shoot it. I want your leg to go up in line with your body. One more here, hold it, now tap it down. Lift it up, now it's staying straight. Here you're gonna feel your hip wanting to open like this. Keep them closed off. We're finding the length in the front of this hip and we're finding that glute, right? <laughs> For three, back is not arching. Two, hold it up on one, pulses. Halfway up, halfway down, don't touch the floor. Seven, lots of core here. Six, five, four, keep pushing the floor away. Three, two, now hold it up, small circles. Eight, do it from your inner thighs without wiggling the hips around, Shakira. Option for forearm. Five, toe up a little higher. Three, ooh, core. Reverse, eight, seven, squeeze your booty booty. <laughs> Five, are you breathing? Three, two, one, hold it up. Can you bring it in towards your elbow? Stretch it back out. Ooh, it's a big squeeze. So now we're getting our side booty too. Two more here, two, and shoot. Your left side's starting to feel it too. Let's add on, can you kick it side? So I'm still drawing my thigh close to my right elbow but I'm extending it too for three. Try to keep your hips and spine still. Whew. It's taking the wind out of me. Five, six, oh boy. Seven, last one, eight. We'll hold it back, pulses again. Eight, seven, six, booty cheeks on fire. For four, for three, for two, one, bring it down. Little child's pose. Stretch your back here. <sighs> Not easy, right? <laughs> now we still wanna work that right leg. So come on to your left elbow. We're bending the knees right in front of the hips. Same right leg, extends out, bring it in. <sighs> Extend it out, bring it in. <sighs> Looks like a similar movement pattern. <laughs> but it's actually different muscles. Now see how keep going, I'm wiggling and my torso and hips don't do it. Wow, this is really cardio. Now let's add the upper body, reach, bring it in, reach. Similar to how we did when we were on all fours, three, but get a big stretch through that right body, four. Don't kick the wall, <laughs> lots of core. Six, lots of core. Seven, whoo, hold it eight. Now lift that leg up there, eight, seven, six. See how it's pulling me in two directions. I'm zipping my abs, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, lay your upper body down. Whoo, extend that top leg. Remember those circles? Well now, sure, they're a little bigger, but I want you to be even more careful not to move this hip. You notice how we're doing lots of booty here? Cause our queen, her booty gains don't play. <laughs> For four, and Pilates will help. Three, by increasing your mobility when you are lifting heavy weights. Two, now reverse. For eight, for seven, for six. Try to get your back booty working to push your leg back like you're going through sand. For three, 
two, and one. Now we're gonna switch legs. That top leg comes in front of your body. Your underneath leg lifts up and down. So you might not be feeling this. You might be like, what muscle is this? It's your deep core and your inner thigh. We're almost finished on this leg. Hold it up circles here. Do not touch the floor. Six, use your stomach to help you out. Four, two, reverse, eight, seven, whoo, abs in and up. Five, four, three, almost there, two, holds it up on one, now little pulses to finish. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, whoo, three, two, and one, lower down. Let's go to the other side. I'm gonna flip around, get a sip of water if you need it. Fix your costume if you need it. <laughs> Here we go, we're on all fours. Now it's my left leg out, down, without shifting. I'm squeezing my left butt cheek, two. Now hold this next one up on one, we go down. Up. Now keep going. Do you feel your leg going to the side of your body like this? See how? Keep going. I could glance and see it out of my left eye. And I want it straight behind me. So you will get a little inner thigh out of it. Four. Ooh. Two. If you do it right, this is hard. <laughs> Hold it up. Now little pulses lift from your stomach, not your back higher than your body. You can do it. Give me five, four, three, two. Hold it up on one. Circle it, eight. Tap into this core right here. Hold it tight like you got on a waist trainer. <laughs> five, four, three, two. Reverse it, opposite direction, eight, seven. Ooh, my inner thighs are not working today. Five. Four. Both legs should be warm though. We've worked them both. Three, two, hold it up on one. Now pull it in, elbow to knee. Send it back. Ooh, I got a lot of waistline on that one. You kinda, kinda feel like a doggy on a fire hydrant. Ooh, doggy. Now let's extend out one. Push, two, push. Three, out, four, like you're gonna kick me. Try to keep it up, but no momentum. Six, out, seven, out. One more, eight, hold it out, back to pulses. Booty, not back. Six, five, four, all glute. Three, two, one, bring it in. I feel it right there. Stretch her out. Big exhale for three, for two. Woo. Okay, here we go. Onto your right elbow. Guess what, this is your last leg, and then we're gonna do some core. Stretch. But you should be getting a decent amount of core right here. Think about still wearing that waist trainer. Now let's add the upper body. Stretch in, reach. Whew, do y'all hear my back crack? Three, four, like you're looking behind you. Five, look behind you. Six, almost there. Stretch your body in half. Last one, hold it. Now little pulses here from the side of your butt, y'all, and from your core. Six, five, keep your chest up, four, get that leg up, three, two, one. Woo! We're moving quick, y'all. That is on purpose, because I said this is an energizing workout. Now here, I want you to think, just circling the size of a dinner plate, no bigger than that, four, Five, smile through the pain. <laughs> Six, seven. I love when people call me out for saying that. Eight. Oh boy, it's burning. Opposite direction, one, two. Keep this core snatched in. Three, four, 
Pick it up, five. Woo, doggy. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Bring that thing down. Reach the bottom leg out. Here we go. One. Pull the core in. It's easy on this one. It's easy to be cheesy. Pull it in. Now hold the bottom leg up. We circle. Eight, seven. See how I wasn't using my core on this? Five. Four. I feel a lot from here. Three. You'll feel even more if you breathe deeply. Reverse. Ooh, circle that leg. Lots of inner thighs. Four, three, two. Hold it up on one. Let's do a little bit of pulsing here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> now let's finish with my absolute favorite lower body exercise before we get into abs. Bridging, y'all. Arms are down by your sides. I really want you to relax this rib cage. Let's just pick up our hips in one piece, pulling your booty to your heels and hold it there. I want a nice long line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. Bellies are pulled in. Here we go, we lower down an inch, pick it up from your booty. Two, like your butt and your back are working in one piece. Four, push down, five, six, almost there, seven. Now give me your best one on eight. Hold it, tap your right foot out, in, same side, two. Every time, make sure those hips are staying still. They're not dropping down here, you see the difference? They're extended, five. You're gonna feel that left leg turn on, six. Push the arms down, seven. One more. Other side, here we go, one. Ooh, this leg is much easier. Two. Three. Ooh, keep going. Five, almost there. Six, keep your booty up. Now four on the right, here we go, four. Three, lots of core, two, stick with me. Other side, four, maybe you can go a little further, three, without shifting, two, Ooh. Now let's go two on each side, two, two, and two. I know this isn't easy. Now, singles, eight times, see how I just, tilted my pelvis under and drew my abs in. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost done. Three, almost done. Two, one, roll down. Ay, 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 pull your knees into your chest. Woo, it is not easy, y'all, okay. <laughs> like this really is an easy workout. And by easy, I mean simple. But I'm still getting a big challenge. So arms come down, knees come right over hips. I want you to curl up. You can even use your hands right here. Make sure the knees are right in line. Curl your upper body up a little higher. Draw your belly in. Now right hand behind your head, left arm out. We pump, 100. You inhale, five beats of the arm. Exhale, five beats. Three, two, one, repeat. Exhale. Switch. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Both arms. Exhale. Little higher. Keep going, legs out. Two more. One more. Three, two, one. Right leg up, catch it both hands. Pull belly deeper, curl a little higher, we scissor. 
You can always put your head, neck, and shoulders down on the mat for more support. Pull, I want a straight back line of your leg. Should feel juicy on those hamstrings. Let's go eight, seven, six, almost there. Five, four, three, two. Hold the right leg up on one, lower the left leg. Arms come down by your sides. Woo now, I'm really pulling my belly button in and up, planting my right arm. I push on my right hand. Left hand touches my foot. I lower everything down. Same thing, push on that right hand. Zip your belly, lift. If you've taken our former class, you might know this, or another mat class, as half teaser. Exhale on the way up. Four. Halfway. Go again. Five. Oh, you feel that burn? Exhale. Six, almost there. Seven. Oh. One more. Eight. Other side. Here we go. Left arm pushes into the mat. Right arm up, plug that shoulder. Lift the leg, we push one. Get a big twist of the body. These are not quick, y'all. You should feel these deep in your core. Ooh, push, three. Ooh, it burns. Exhale, push, four. Ooh. Exhale, push, five. Ooh. Exhale, six. Ooh, lots of core, two more. Seven. Really try to roll down the spine. Last one. Oh, I'm having flashbacks of my life before my eyes. <laughs> Last one. Push, roll, down. Oh, I love that exercise. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a little rock side to side. Hands behind your legs. Rock yourself on up. Now flip on over. Oh, we're gonna combine everything to finish with my favorite little full body sequence. For posture, for core strength, glutes work. Here we go, hands underneath your shoulders. Extend your legs out to a plank. We're holding here. We're zipping our belly. Woo. Now hover your right leg just an inch or two. Hold, hold. Feels pretty challenging, right? Put it down, try the other side. Is it harder or easier? Hold. Three, two, one. Lower down, now lower the knees. Lower your chest. Extend your arms and legs out. We swim, opposite arm is leg lifts. Check it out, 10. Nine, you're using your upper back, your booty, your core. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower everything down. Tuck toes, hands underneath shoulders. This is the hard part. Push back up to that plank and hold it. Just hold it. Here we go, lift that right leg. Now give it four pulses. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, Lower, slowly down. Four, three, two, whoo, killer. Stretch it out, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back in, tuck those toes, push it back up. We got it again. Four pulses, three from your butt, two in your core, four, three, Use your butt, your gut, lower slow. Four, three slower, two, woo. Y'all, this is crazy cardio. Swim for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Two more sets of this, push back up. You can keep your knees down for the push back up. Here we go, three, two, two more sets. Four, three, two, 
Other side, four, three, two. Lower slow, four, three. Like you're moving through jello for all of this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm really feeling my booty work. One more, last one. Here we go. Tuck toes, push. Find plank, four, three, two. Switch, four, three, two. Lower, four, three, two. That's the hardest part. Gravity is the worst. This is the second hardest. Four, three, two, one. Lower down. Okay. Take your hand tuck. Do y'all hear how hard I'm breathing? That was just full body. Find a big shell stretch here. Feel a good stretch from your lats, your ribs, your sides. Big exhale. And roll your body up. I hope you enjoyed that workout as much as I do. I am feeling like a certified hot girl ready for hot girl summer. If you want more workouts like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like, comment, and share this workout. If you're interested in joining my Pilates Hotties community, you can find us at Pilates Body Hotties on Instagram and Pilates Body Raven on TikTok and Instagram. This year in 2024, we've got so many fun things planned for this community, you guys. We're talking about giveaways, newsletters, new challenges, pre and postnatal, advanced workouts, and live workouts with me. So don't forget, head over to Instagram, head over to the community page here on YouTube, and hopefully I will see you soon on the map. Bye.